hope you are having a great day. Let's see how to find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters in a given string. Uh, so if the given string is this, then the answer is ABC and its length is 3. If the given string is BBB, the answer is B and so its length is 1. Uh, to give you more examples, let's see this string called ABBA. Uh, as you can see, it has two different strings. Uh, substrings a b b a and both has an equal length so the answer is 2 in this case if we take obamacare it has two substrings of the length 4 so the answer for this case is 4 but it has six different substrings but the longest one has the length of 4 so let's see what's the algorithm to solve this problem so that the give this algorithm has a time space time complexity of linear so it's o of n where n is the length of the string we need to have going to have a pointer which tra keeps track of the starting index of the current substring. As you saw in the previous example, we could have multiple substrings in a given string. So we need to keep track of the starting index for which substring we are measuring the current length. We are also going to create a map of or, or a dictionary uh, which will be consisting, which will be the character and its index. Uh, whose key will be the character and whose value will be its index and if the while iterating if the current character is in the lookup or the dictionary we have to change the starting index because that indicates that this is the starting of the new substrings we have to change the starting point and from then onwards we have to keep track of the length otherwise we will just add the current character to the map uh, as key will be the character and the value will be its index in the current string and we have to update the maximum length accordingly. So let's see how we can implement this. So here I have already written the code. Uh, so if I have, I'm creating this function called length of the longest substring. And here I'm just doing the early returns. If the length is zero, then return zero. If the length is one, then return one. Those are the base cases. Um, otherwise, uh, I'm going to create a new lookup, uh, which is a map. Map is a new data structure in JavaScript. Uh, I'm going to store the length of the given string, so I don't have to calculate length in every iteration in the for loop. And I'm just assigning the max length, uh, which will be the length, maximum length of our current substring, which basically we are going to return. And this is the main pointer, uh, start pointer, where uh, which will keep track of which substring we are measuring and this for loop is going to iterate over the input string so let's see what do we do inside this for loop currently we are going to get the current character and uh, as we saw uh, if the current character is already in the lookup or not based on that we have to do something different if it's in the uh, currently in the lookup or our in dictionary and its index is greater than or equals to start then we are going to update the start index with uh, the last found character uh, in the lookup plus one and we will see why we are doing this in a concrete example uh, otherwise we are just going to add the character to our current lookup and this is also very important, the way we calculate the max. Here we, we are not calculating max by just incrementing its, uh, by doing max equals to max plus plus, but we have to find out what's the max, what was the max previously, and what's the max. So this will be the length of our current substring. So if you have two substrings in a string, and we calculated the max of the previous substring, this will be that value. And this value is going to give us the length of the current substring which we are measuring and as we are interested in the max we are going to do the ma uh, maximum of those two values if you're interested in min we could do the min and then we are just going to return the max value and if I just uncomment these two lines as you can see uh, we get the correct output and other way to check this code is you can copy this code and go to the lead code and paste it and let them verify your code. If I submit my solution, you will see it's accepted, so it's passing all the cases. 
So I, before I go, I want to give you an example of how this algorithm works so we can walk through it. So let's see if we are currently take a, b, b, a, the starting point at this point will be zero and our lookup will be a and it's an index of zero and uh, a is not, so a is not in the lookup, so this case does not apply and max len in this case will be one because max len initially was zero, but uh, this value i minus that plus one will be one. When we uh, iterate over, when we come to b, the uh, start will be zero at this point, but our lookup is going to change. We will be adding b to it. And at this point, b is also not in the lookup, so it's going to be not applicable. And the max length at this point will be two uh, because i minus that plus one is going to be two. When we come here, at this point, uh, b, we are going to check for this condition. Is it in the lookup? Yes, it's in the lookup. And then we are going to check uh, its index is greater than or equals to stat. So its index is two and its stat is zero. So yes, that is true. And as that is true, we are going to update the stat. Remember this condition that if this condition is true, update the stat. And stat is going to be lookup dot get plus uh, of character plus one. So its index is uh, uh, B's index in the lookup is one. So one plus one is two. So stat will is going to become two. So the idea is whatever your current uh, whatever the repeating character which you found in the previous index from next onwards you are going to start your um, the next substring uh, and at this point your lookup is going to look like this and your max length will become one uh, uh, max length is going to become two because in this case, previous max len was two, but this value will be one and the maximum is two of it. Uh, again, when we come to uh, when we come to A, max len will be two. And at this point, uh, yes, it's in the lookup. So this is very important. Yes, uh, A is in the lookup, but lookup of uh, C, the value in the value of the A is zero and start is two. So this condition is going to become false. So we are not going to update the start to two. That's why start stays two. When after that, the lookup is going to be updated like this. And max length will become two. I hope you found this video helpful uh, and it helps you in the 